selecting a photo to crop and edit for your portrait drawings. So first I need you to go ahead and open up Word. We are not using Google, so open up Word, a new Word document, and then double clicking at the top, you'll get the header, which is right here. And then you can go ahead and type in your name and then period. If you forget to do this, you can handwrite it in the end. So then I'm going to minimize this and then you can open up Google and you can search um, on the internet for someone that you want to draw. So I would be looking for a picture. Um, the face mask is covering this up and it's right now. There's too much information there for um, you to draw. So this one might be a decent one, pretty good size, um, shouldn't probably be too blurry. So I might click this one. You click on the image. Once it's bigger, you would right click and then you would say copy image. And then you would pull up your Word document and double clicking um, and then pasting, um, right click and paste. And then I have this. So if I double click in the white space, um, I get the little dots. Um, only ever pull from the corner. That's it, because this is going to keep everything locked in. If you want to be able to move the document on the page, you want to go to in front of text, and then you can move your image. But really what I want you to do is step three, um, which is to crop. So you've got a worksheet to follow. If I double click on the header, um, I have cropping here, I have the size here, I have color, correction, um, and layout for page, um, if I need it to have a horizontal or landscape or portrait page. So if I lose that ribbon and you can see it changes, I just double click. So I'm gonna crop and you are working to go right to the top of the head, right up to the shoulders, and right into very close to the face. And so we will be making this bigger, but right now we're just cropping it. So now it seems very small. I'm gonna go ahead and just click this corner box and it looks pretty good size on the page. I'm gonna click on this and it's 5.76 by 4.8. I need it to be just slightly bigger than five and four. So if I look at this, that's 4.9 and this is four. So this has to be at least five. This is 4.1, so I'm good. I'm gonna go ahead and double click on the photo. I'm gonna go to color. This top one is the gray. Now I have a grayscale photo, but there's not much contrast. So I want to go to corrections, which is the next is number six on your direction. And if I, first I'm gonna move this over a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. Go to corrections, and then I can see right in front of me a lot more white space on the face. So if I choose this one, it seems like it's brighter, the darks are darker, and then there's the gray in between. So now if I want to see how the size of it is on the paper, I know I have a, a vertical picture, a vertical page, but I need to put two side by side. So I'm gonna go to page layout, orientation, and landscape. And I'm waiting. And it's thinking. And so now I can right click, copy, right click, paste, and I can move my graphic on the page. So this is a normal sheet of paper. You need to see it closer. Um, now I have two of the same image. I've got my name, I have my period, um, and now I need to go through saving this. So before you can print, you've got to make sure you save. So I'm gonna go to File, Save As. I need to go to my H drive. So you're gonna select your H drive. Make sure you like slide down and you find your initials and student ID, you will click on that. And then you can title it Art Grid Drawing um, Seventh Grade. Something specific and make sure you have it 
um, like I said, you check your H drive here and then you click save. It's the only time you have to do save as. So if I make a change here and I actually type my name in, I all I have to do is hit this little file up here which says save and it resaves any changes that I have. The final step is for you to go to file and print. Now here are your options. You will have different directions, but it will be um, whatever lab we're in, it will be a black and white printer. Um, and so you would select the one that you want and then you will hit print. Before you print, you need to check with me, the teacher. So now that I'm done um, and you've checked, we can go ahead and All right. Trying to stop my recording here.